Howdy. Today, I'm going to turn these two DVD cases into a horn. First, you take the DVD case. This one's a little broken, but it's okay. Pop it open. Next, you take the other DVD case. Pop it open. You got yourself two open DVD cases. Next, what you do here is you take this side and you slide it in. Right there, and you jam it in. Part of why it's broken is why I was doing this earlier. Slide it in. But I want you to keep a little air hole right here. Keep it in an air hole. Right? And it's in. But you see that gap? We need that gap. Go ahead and take your other DVD case. Put that over the gap. You don't want to close the gap, so be careful. Put it over the gap, such as so. Take some tape. Tape that together. Take a little more tape. Tape across the top. What you're going to do here is you'll see this little line right here. That's how you control the notes. You can make it sound differently just by sliding your finger up and down that. Of course, it takes a little practice now that the DVD is together. Again, opening down here. Opening down here. That's an important part of having the DVD horn together. Now, what you're going to do here, you're going to hold it real tight here. You're going to come in. <coughs> A lot of action with the mouth too. A lot of very important to force the air in. You gotta get a lot of air pressure in there. That's how you get the sound. Nope. Hold on. I'm doing something wrong here. Here we go. There. We're getting it. Everything in there needs to vibrate. That's the problem here. Everything needs to vibrate. Otherwise, you don't get the good sound. <laughs> That's how you turn DVD cases into a horn.